Well, in many of the traditions, of course, exemplary monks found new sects or scholars and the like. But with the Tantric tradition, we see a very odd beginning for it. Uh, it's said that Nagarjuna, who we looked at uh, as a second Buddha, founder of the Mahayana, uh, even he's been called, and certainly uh, the explainer of emptiness or shunyata in history, that he is claimed by the Tantric tradition to have been the founder of Tantric Buddhism. But this is according to religious belief that he lived 600 years and is the same author of the Mula Madhyamaka Karakas as the Tantric author of several centuries later was. But certainly, as much as he exists in history, it is Tilopa, a brothel-owning sesame seed pounder, two low-caste jobs, uneducated, and yet, though, capable of amazing miracles, miraculous feats. And we may remember the Buddha rejected miracles as any kind of proof of anything. At some point in the course of Naropa's studies with Tilopa, Tilopa told him he must jump off a cliff uh, if he wants to give it his all for attaining Buddhahood. And we're told, believe it or not, uh, that Tilopa magically restored Naropa back to health after all his bones had been broken in the fall. 